What's going on guys thanks for tuning into this video you're probably watching because of the title which is installing the mod light on my 2001 m5 so i have no idea how to do any of this hopefully the instructions are clear i don't know okay i have no idea what to do so to my understanding though is that you have to run this wire to one of the plugs in here and you have to run to the glove box and then you use this to control everything hopefully that's what the instructions say and i don't look like an idiot the three wires that they give you which is red brown yellow and you have to plug it to those so first off what i'm going to do on my car my car is different from probably your guys's the previous owner installed this aftermarket unit take that off that was clipped and i just unclipped it and then there's these allen bolts i have to undo those okay so i got the head unit out i switched seats because it was easier to work on this side so what i'm going to do to connect the wires is use these tap splices you can get it from uh home depot i guess i don't remember where i got it but anyway so i have this wire that's running from the head unit through my glove box it's just a usb and then i put some metal wire on it i'm going to run it through and then that way I can fish through this wire and you know, it'd be easier. All right, so now I have to splice these. And then I believe from looking at the instructions, it's the wires that are on this connector and it's not being used near ground, which looks like a brown, brown color. The 12 volt, which is a green and red. And then the IBUS, which is white with yellow dots, stripes. Okay, this one. Found it, green and red, yellow and, or white and yellow. And then we have our ground, which is brown. So yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, and for anyone that's doing this, and doesn't want to, you know, splice with this or anything, I would suggest using T-tabs. It's really easy, you use pliers. Just put the two wires in there. And then just get a good grip. And then all you gotta do squeeze and once it's squeezed that's it the connection is made cover it up and that's it you're done so everything should be working now i'm gonna try it out let me plug in the box so if i plug in the box oh we got power so let me just go up to the instructions. Guys, I think I got it figured out. It's pretty simple. Um, at the moment, right now my car says, whenever I put it into the first position, it says BMW Motorsport. And that would be function four, option two. So for example, let's say I want to do um, BMW M5. So I do function four, option five. So function four, one, two, three, four, enter. One, two, three, four, five, enter. Let it do its thing. It's gonna do the red dots. There you go. And then it should be BMW um, M5. There you go. That's just an example. Um, you can do that for any of them. Because it's a 25. I've only messed with a few. For example, um, I'll show you guys. If you double press the lock button. Oh wait. Sorry, when you hold it. Or yeah, when you hold it, uh, the mirrors fold. And when you unlock it, press it again. Those turn on, mirrors unfold. And the rear lights turn on as well. So that's mainly what I wanted the mod light for. It's pretty cool. You can, there's other features you can turn on. You guys can go through them, but for, I think it was 30 US dollars, it was worth it. So um, yeah, if you guys have any more questions or concerns with the uh, mod light, 
just uh, drop a comment. I'll try to answer it as best as I can. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.